hello guys welcome to api testing in postman and in this tutorial what we are going to learn is that we are basically going to run our postman collection using docker so if you have no clue what is a docker docker is a kind of a, you can say it's a container system where you have all the dependency that you required for your software to run are already pre-installed it's a kind uh, if in a layman terms i will say it's a virtual type of virtual machine which uh, which will having all the uh, prerequisites that uh, that a developer require to run a particular thing for example right now what we require is that we have we must have a machine to have a node installed new man installed to run our postman collection in command line right so what it will be do is that we will use a docker machine which already will having this kind of stuff uh, and that we can just pass the url of our postman connection and it will directly run it and give us a results so docker is very helpful whenever we are uh, whenever we want to distribute our test cases our postman collection to certain people who are very new and they don't know how to install certain dependencies and i also in the, my previous tutorials as well as in the comment section i got to know that there are some problems while installing new man node and all so if you guys uh, must use docker for this for that thing so let's start with this so first thing installing docker so what you have to do is that just go to just go to the site docker docker product, product overview dot com uh, basically do, docker dot com and just move to products and overview uh, as you can see in the link and you just download the version that according to you, os right now i'm using a mac so i will be downloading a mac version and i've already installed downloaded it so when you installed it you can see in the your application that it will be available so in the windows also you will get a particular exe file just run it and it will docker will automatically run so in the mac when you start the docker you'll see this little uh whale where it's saying the docker is running and restart and these are the bunch of options that you want to do so what we what we are going to do is that now is we will be pulling up so what we are, we are going to do is that we will be pulling up a docker image of new new man of omen 2 and we will be running our postman collection using the second command so it's very simple process and where you are, you have to just pull an image uh, pull an image of uh, new man uh, new man so let me give you more details about what exactly is this image uh, this image will contain this is an image of ubuntu 4.14.0 lts which contain which already have installed the node version newman as well as certain other dependencies that required to run a postman collection so what you guys have to do is that just uh, you can use your command line uh, utility and run the uh, run the postman collection directly by passing the url to this uh, this uh, virtual machine and it will just pop out the results for you so let's see how we can do it that so first of all make sure your docker is running you can just uh, check using the mac the docker is running here as well as in window you will see a little 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 icon right right bottom side and what uh, so first command will be docker info so when you type it you will get lots of information about the docker which kind of version architecture that you are going total and total memory and all so it means docker is, docker is successfully installed so the next thing you have to do is that you have to type docker pull you have to use this command to pull up the image of to, to ubuntu in newman so i have already installed it so if you can see that it will say that already installed so it will take a while and it will download the virtual machine in your local system and now what you have to do is that you have to just fire up the command docker run and it's minus t and t and this one so this is a basic uh, this is the basically our dummy collection that we have that we have in a postman postman and what i am doing is that i will be just passing uh, this image i'm just running the fir the first command telling is that i'll running this image this image and i will be passing the parameter of us this one so when whenever we are passing the url and it will automatically run this image with the url as a parameter and it will pop up the result so let's run this command and see how it's gone 
how it's behaving so this collection generally have a, a very few sets of test cases and it will take a while and let's see so as you can see now right now that it started running our test so these are the tests that are already run and you can see that it has executed certain things and four requests it has made and test scripts are four and as session four are all of them are basically passed and none of them is fit so this is the test results that you have got right and right now i'm using an item and if you move back to your uh, move back to your a little bit uh, what we call other terminal and all so if you switch so it will be basically what it will give you is that it will give you a nice ui let me show you how it's look like so you have to just modify a little bit actually it just mess up my certain things and this is dash dash okay and here you have to write docker run minus t so uh, i just using the certain uh, different terminal and if you're in windows you will get a very nicely nicely uh, presented view of the results so as you can see right now it's just making certain request of get with url param and all so this is how you run your uh, test cases and and you can now you can see that it's presented a very good view of the results that we are getting so this is how you run and you don't require to install newman and any other tool just made a collection in postman and uh, get the get the url so if you don't know how to get the url if suppose this is this is our url suppose this is our uh, uh, our collection and you can just click on the share and create a collection link and whenever you click on this and it will create a link for you right and so this is how you get so it will be just fetching the uh, fetching the link and it will create a link for you and that you can use your use it your yeah uh, postman uh, postman collection directly running on your docker okay so thanks a lot guys guys and and hope to see you in the next next video and if you have any doubt or anything that you would like to know me and all the topics that you want to cover let me know and meanwhile it's just fetching that is fetching the link it will take a time and uh, so let me know what are the videos that you want if you have any uh, in upcoming videos i will be discussing how you can just use different kinds of authentication headers and all so stay tuned so it will definitely come after some time okay so that's all from my side thank you and please subscribe and share with this video and hope to see you next video bye